Natasha's off today. Joseph is here. Now, today wasn't bad. Not bad. But compared to yesterday, not great. Not yesterday. <laughs> I didn't think yes. today was great. <laughs> well, it didn't start out great, but it's ending it, it looks well. okay yeah. right now. There's yeah. a few sun breaks out there right now. It was a little bit cooler. We did have some showers kind of pass on through rain to start the day. A little bit drier this afternoon, so you really can get out there and go for that bike ride or just get out and avoid some of the rain. But the ground is probably still pretty wet out there, so just know that. Check out this view about the Riverview Community Bank camera. This is looking across the Columbia River into Oregon over towards the hills. Yeah, there's some low clouds, but you can kind of tell that the sun is trying to fight on through. Temperatures right now, the warmest that they've been all afternoon in the lower 60s. The wind is running out of the west southwest about 15 miles per hour. That's kind of been the main story for today is just how strong the wind has been. We did gust to about 30 miles per hour here in Portland. Not as touchy there for Vancouver. It was reaching about the mid 20s, but it is gusty out there. There's no doubt about that, especially east of the mountains there out towards Hermiston and Pendleton. We have wind gusting to 40 miles per hour, and that is exactly why the wind advisory is still in place. So things are still a little breezy there through the dials, extending through I-84 corridor. So a lot of traveling going on right there. Not a lot to, you know, block that wind. So it's really picking up. The west breeze, 20 to 35 miles per hour, still possible, gusting to about 45 miles per hour. That is until late tonight, until things kind of settle down once this system and this trough continues to push off towards the east. Well, here's the deal. We have that strong westerly flow today, but it's going to shift more out of the northwest for tomorrow, which is going to keep us cool. It's also going to allow for maybe some isolated showers. It's going to kind of pick up some of that moisture as it goes along and it's going to be cold aloft. So that's a good recipe for some shower development. OK, so we're going to keep that going as we head into tomorrow. As far as tonight goes, I think most of the rain is out of the picture. A couple cells there passing to the north and to the east. But if we look west there, not a lot going on, and I am not anticipating a lot of development as we go through the rest of today. 63 degrees is our high, 63 out of Salem, the normal high is 70. We mentioned that that's kind of the normal now, uh, so not too special when you hit 70, but we haven't had too many this spring, so anytime we get it, it kind of feels a little bit warmer, and uh, we'll get used to it eventually. We have that trough that's going to swing on through as we go into tomorrow, as I mentioned, that northwest flow right here, so really that wind pattern is going up, and then it's coming right back down. Well, this ridge will start to develop and push over the Pacific Northwest as we head into the weekend. I'm still looking at a nice warm and probably dry weekend, but I am concerned a little bit more about Saturday there because it's still clipping that edge. So we may actually have a few more clouds in there, but by Sunday it looks like it's going to be nice and warm temperatures into the mid 70s at that point in time. All right, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Futurecast is going to bring in some clouds tomorrow morning. As I mentioned, maybe a couple scattered showers, but fairly dry. Snow levels down to the passes, an inch or two. Nothing to really slow things down. I don't think it's really going to stick to the roads there. Watch what happens in the afternoon, though. We have a little more enhancement going on, which means we'll see the development of some showers tomorrow afternoon. This is 2 p.m. By the time we get to about 6 p.m. there, it looks pretty dry, especially east of I-5. Maybe a couple clouds around Portland, but it's already nice and clear there for the Oregon coast, which means sunshine for the Oregon coast. We'll hold on to a couple clouds here in the valley. Friday's a nice dry day. It's going to be warming up too, but I mentioned I'm concerned a little bit about Saturday because we're starting to see some moisture in the picture here. It looks like we're pretty clear, but some of that moisture might reach the Cascades. A couple showers are possible right now. I'm going to leave us dry for Saturday and most definitely as we head into Sunday. Uh, real quick, I'll show you some of those rain totals as we go into our Thursday morning there and Thursday afternoon. As you can tell right there, there's just not a lot going on, uh, at least for the next 12 hours. Friday at 68, 73 on Saturday. A few more clouds on Saturday now, but Sunday, 75 degrees, and it's going to be a nice day. This a nice weekend, too. The plants are just going crazy. Once that sun hits it with all the boosh. Is that what's going to happen? showing off. <laughs> okay, exciting times in his yard. All yes. right, thanks, Joseph.